United USA 2020 and beyond. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to United USA 2020 and beyond. Well, got another bombshell for y'all. Um, A416, uh, new bill that's being proposed in New York to basically put you in a FEMA camp. New York State, now bill up for proposal A416. Summary relates to the removal cases, contacts, carriers of communicable diseases that are potentially dangerous to the public. Hmm. Allow me to put that in perspective. What it's saying is they can put you in quarantine, put you in a FEMA camp, and separate you from the public against your will. Straight up. Look at this sweetheart right here. He looks pretty happy about it. New York's Democratic bill allowing governor to detain individuals dangerous to public health backlash. This is outrageous. I've been talking about this for years, FEMA camps. People used to call me conspiracy theorist, and now, well, take a look. Here we are. So this bill would allow the governor to um, <laughs> basically detain individuals. Massive violation of the Constitution, in my personal opinion. So people can be detained if they pose a threat to public health by a single order in a medical facility or appropriate facility. Uh, sparked fierce, fierce backlash online. Hmm, I wonder why. why. Notice at the top of the paragraph, it says by single order in a medical facility or, what does it say, or a appropriate facility. Well, who decides if it's an appropriate facility? That could mean anything. It could put you in Guantanamo, for God's sake. Says the uh, New York State Assembly, uh, Nick Perry, sponsoring Bill A416, which to be referred to as the Assembly's Health Committee on Wednesday. Hmm. All right, well, continuing on here, so... Basically, this is uh, Ali Beth Stuckey. She was saying it's so disturbing the New York bill allows for the removal and detention of anyone that may be a danger to public health. And yes, that's purposely undefined. Mm-hmm. Yep. Reminds me of an executive order Obama passed. Also commenting, this is straight up detention camp stuff in NY. A bill giving New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, health commissioner, and a designated official full power to remove any person or group of people, or group of people, right, mm -hmm, from their home if deemed contagious. So what does that mean? Well, ladies and gents, what it means is if they say that you're contagious, well, then you're contagious. If they tell you you're a risk to society and people's health, then you are. That simple. Also saw in Dr. David Samadhi uh, on his page in Twitch. Let's get into it. An act to amend public health law in relation to the removal of cases, contacts, carriers. They're talking about you, my friends. Uh, communicable diseases who are potentially dangerous to the public health. The people of the state of New York represented in the Senate and Assembly do enact as follows. Section 1, public health law is amended by adding a new section to 2120A and reads as follows. 2120A, the removal and detention of cases. That means putting you in a FEMA camp, detention center. Contacts carriers uh, are a danger to public health and other... The provisions of this section shall be utilized in the event that the governor declares a state of health emergency due to an epidemic or a communicable disease. Okay, in section two, upon determining by clear and convincing evidence that the health of others is and may be endangered by a case, a contact, a carrier, I'm talking about you, or suspected case contact or carrier of the contagious disease that, in the opinion of the governor, after consultation with the commissioner, may pose an imminent and significant threat to the public health, resulting in the severe morbidity or high mortality. The governor or his or her uh, delegee, uh, delegated individual, they're saying, including but not limited to the commissioner or the heads of local health departments may order the removal and or detention of such a person or a group this one but many <laughs> of, of such persons by them. issuing a single order i don't hear anybody calling me a conspiracy theorist now i've been talking about this for years Let's continue and identifying it. such a person either by name or by a reasonable specific description of the individual 
or a group being detained. Such person or group of persons shall be detained in a medical facility or appropriate facility. I gotta love the verbiage here. Appropriate facility, huh? That's mm. pretty vague, don't you think? Or premises designated by the governor or his or her delegee, delegated individual, and complying with the um, subdivision five of this section. Hmm. Let me break it down. They can lock you up for whatever they want to say. If they say that you're contagious or you got it, your ass is going to a FEMA camp straight up. Straight. Also, this reminds me of an executive order that Obama amended, uh, order 13295 one, one, to the eyes of evil. This fool right here. These people are psychopaths. They want to propose this bill so it's another excuse to dominate control, lock your ass up. Even if they find that you're false positive or whatever and you're not even diagnosed but whatever they want to say oh you're showing symptoms you have a cough you have a fever you have or this, your you temperature's have elevated they can lock your ass up for whatever put you in a fema chemical. see my friends the rabbit hole keeps going deeper please be sure to like and share and get the word out there thank you united usa 2020 and beyond